Hi everyone, it's Ma from Sparkly Belly. Last week you saw how I made this lace halter top for dance practice. This week, continuing the practice wear theme, I'll be making this cute ruched skirt that's built into my flare pants. It's comfy and doesn't shift or fall, so it's perfect for dance lessons, yoga, or even daily wear. Let's get started! To make this DIY built-in ruched skirt, you need about half a meter or half a yard of stretch fabric. Make sure it's nice and stretchy. The pants you want to attach your skirt to and matching color thread. First, take two measurements on your body. Belt line, this is where the waistband of your pants would sit. Measure the circumference. And hip line, this is the largest part of your hips. Again, measure the circumference. Then take your fabric and check to see which direction it stretches. If your fabric is four-way stretch, meaning it stretches in all four directions, that's great, but there should be a direction that's stretchier. Make a mental note of that. Next, fold the fabric in half right sides together and make sure the direction of stretch is perpendicular to the fold. And fold in half again and make sure it's nice and smooth. At the top of the fabric, draw a horizontal line. And from the fold, measure your belt line divided by 1.2 and by 4 plus 2 centimeters or 3 quarters of an inch and mark it on the line. Back on the fold, measure 1 centimeter or 3 eighths of an inch from the first line and draw another horizontal line. Measure the same distance as above and mark it on the line. Next, from this line, measure 10 cm or 4 inches and draw a horizontal line. Mark your hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch and mark it on the line. From this line, measure 30 cm or 12 inches and mark the same measurement as above. Now connect all the marks on the lines. And smooth out this top area so there's no sharp corner. Cut along the outline and you have two identical panels. From the leftover fabric, cut two long strips that are 4 cm or 1.5 inches wide and about 1 meter or 39 inches long. And that's it! Let's start sewing! Take each of your skirt panels and fold 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom edge towards the wrong side. Do a zigzag stitch to keep the folds in place. Then place the panels right sides together. Do a narrow zigzag stitch with a 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch seam allowance along side seams. Then at each seam, fold the seam allowance flat like this and do a narrow zigzag stitch right next to the raw edges. This creates channels for the ties. Next, take your long strips and fold each one in half right sides together. And do a narrow zigzag stitch with a 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Trim the seam allowance down to about half and turn each one right side out. I'm using a small safety pin here to do this. Simply attach the safety pin to one end and guide it through the tube. Place the safety pin at the end of the tie and from the bottom end at the side seam, thread it through one of the channels and take it through the other channel. And tie the ends into knots. Repeat on the other side and even out the ties. And the ruched skirt is ready! You can just finish up the top edge and wear it as is but here I'm going to attach the skirt to my pants. So remove the waistband of your pants or if you're making a pair from scratch, don't attach the waistband. On your skirt at the top edge, find the center points in the front and back. Mark them with pins. And place it inside the pants so the right side of the skirt is facing the wrong side of the pants. Match up the center front and back and side seams and the rest. 
and do a regular zigzag stitch with a 1 cm or 3 of an inch seam allowance all around the waistband area. If the length of the layers don't match exactly, gently pull the layers as you sew to align the edges. Bring the skirt out, scrunch the sides, and your pants with built-in skirts are complete. I love this ruched skirt and the ties are so cute. And it's really liberating when I don't have to worry about my skirt shifting or falling as I move around. Now I have a great pair of pants for dance lessons, yoga or festivals. And if you're curious about the pants I used here, you can now make them for yourself too. Next Friday, I'm launching a brand new course where you can learn to make these fun flare pants. You can custom make these pants to your unique measurements so they'll fit perfectly around the waist and hips and you never trip over the pants. You get lots of design variations too, so if you're curious, go over to sparklybelly.com slash pants and check out the design options and sign up to be invited to the course launch sale next week. Hope you like this built-in ruched skirt tutorial and if you did, please share this tutorial with your dancer friends. And again, check out the upcoming pants course at sparklybelly.com slash pants. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!